Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading and the Normand one for September 10 to September 16, 2018. So, uh, while I'm shuffling, I want to remind you guys that this is a, a general reading for the star sign. This is not your personal reading. Therefore, I, can, I will explain you the meanings of the cards uh, and their synergy into the spread, but it, it, it falls to you to make sense of them by aligning them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that job for you, you have to go for a personal reading, which... Uh, <clears throat> can be done by you going into my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as the pricings of them so that being said going to the tarot reading first now we do have a four card spread the first position here is going to uh, regards to the um, situation uh, to the topic of the week excuse me I just get uh, carried away for a bit um, then it's the next card that refers to the core of the situation. Third card here is about the challenges the two Sagittarius needs to overcome. Uh, Capricorns, excuse me, needs to overcome for the duration of the week. And then is the guidance or the best course of action that you can adopt in order to deal with the week in a more proficient way. So let's see what you do have here, guys. Now, we do have the Six of uh, Wands, so that will be a very positive week. Obviously, Six of Wands is one of the most positive cards into the tarot, which speaks for a triumph, it speaks for accolations, rewards, you know, peak of experience that you are going to uh, have for the duration of this week. In general, you not much that can be said. It depends of uh, what kind of a situation you're involved in, but you can expect here to a uh, complete milestone. It is exactly what the car is. It's not the full job done, but a, a very strong and wide milestone has been reached or will be reached for the duration of this week. And while when you do so, not just, you know, you will kind of like, be pleased with the job well done but as well that milestone will be recognized and you will receive the rewards for it so uh, that could be a monetary rewards like a raise in salary or like a bonus from your supervisor you know a, a cash bonus or it could be a recognition from your partner as well into your relationship where they are feeling extremely pleased with your performance here reaching that milestone you have probably promised into the past and now they are kind of like giving you um, their gratitude it could manifest in a many many different ways but what you need to know here with the six of wands that the final goal is far from over so when that happened and if you think I finally can uh, put this behind my back you know and um, move to the next task you are very wrong there is still what to be developed I mean if you think that what you have achieved this week is great then you can achieve things into that same direction much greater trying to uh, being pushy forward into that same direction here so um, this card as much as it says you know triumph and uh, rewards etc etc it should not be a prerequisite for you to kind of catch up your breath but you need to keep on working on it you know uh, there is no time for rest even though even now more eyes are staring at you and waiting you to do the right thing therefore you have to be even extra vigil vigilant here and extra determined to get the job done and the core of this situation is uh, the tower card so a very broad one tower card is something unpredictable happening here which totally changes the course of events it totally transforms uh, your not just reality but also your situations it is very unpredictable as I said and it is impossible to um, say in which uh, 
field of your life is happening into a general reading unless you don't ask for it you know so if it is a personal reading you ask for your relationship then it's for your relationship that is happening and based on the next card or on the uh, on the other cards could be uh, defined you know uh, how exactly manifest but it could manifest in any kind of way the tower card could be your crush unexpected crush the tower card could be your unexpected pregnancy as well the tower card could be uh, the unexpected failure of a certain project which gives a birth to another project or in that case what I think here is your subtle actions to maintain crisis and to constrain that crisis and to fix the crisis so that's why you are going to have a triumph here you are going to stand um, above others by showing your um, your abilities should I say that way to uh, to maintain your calmness you know and to um, be versatile into completely unknown environment very positive for career oriented readings it is what that combination points it, po it points that your next or kind of like the path that you can take from now on it could be uh, much greater than the path you have initially anticipated all right because something changed here something very unpredictable happened just to give you an example here it could be that someone was um was given for a promotion but that person either you know maybe died or they have uh, they have become sick or they just quit job and now that place it's open and it is yours to take all right because you were the next one for a, a proposition for that promotion and now the path for you is clear uh, or it could mean that you have accepted a bright new path to go on you realize that until right now um, basically things are just the same and there is nothing amusing in your life etc etc and you tried to make something new you know finding a new job for example or if you were single for a quite long time now it, you have decided that enough it's enough and now you have to take some drastic measures in order to change that and the change imminently comes here and you are feeling that you are very very capable to go to, uh, to kind of reach even greater heights, Capricorns. The uh, challenges, however, that you have to face here, that will be the Six of Swords, and it's kind of expected to have that card. I was expected either this one or a Four of Cups as well, you know, but uh, or the Four of Pentacles, but this card points here that you may have Fears and these fears are regarding the transformation, the threshold of the tra of this transformation. It is because right now uh, the outcomes are predictable. You Capricorns tend to predict the outcomes. You tend to, that the outcomes are exactly the way you are imagining to be. But now this this cannot be predicted. Any kind of a step you take forward, you know the consequences coming from that step you take forward either good or bad has to be taken on on, on site and uh, that's why you cannot prepare yourself very well for it because uh, there is no time you know to make those preparations anyway um you should not think so low of yourself. I mean, uh, having these cards, especially the first two cards, are pointing here, Capricorns, that you will do a flawless job by managing that so-called crisis, but it could not be a crisis. It could be growth as well. You need to know that the Tower card, you know, has come suddenly and it, it throws you off your comfort zone. It is a, a card of growth. It always has a, a growing and healing effect at the end it doesn't matter how uh, manifest and what kind of a field affects but with the six of swords it is very important here just one thing i will say to maintain the good terms with the people in your life boyfriend and girlfriend friendships as well co-workers no matter how how much stress you may feel from all that activity here being kind of like always observed and watched to do the right thing that should not be a prerequisite for you to provoke fights, to provoke scandals and to basically lay it all out into people who does not deserve that. And uh, the last one is the Eight of Wands which points to the guidance here Capricorns, how, what is the best way to manage 
that situation here and as I said no slacking no time for rest the eight of wands it is about speed it is about catching up the opportunities it is about being very very creative or right, be, being brilliant so uh, if you believe in yourself here uh, there will you shouldn't face any problem whatsoever to manage the situation here and to um, get on the top of it in a matter of hours and even in a mat in a matter of uh, of a couple of days and even in a matter of, of hours all right but when it comes to the eight of wands it is very important to recognize where the core of the issue is and to attend to that core of uh, core of the issue being um Again, saying being creative and being brilliant with your strategies. Eight of Wands uh, also tells us that the opportunities flying in your way are going to fly by and go with the flow if they are seized. That's why no time for rest. All right, just just need to be uh, on top of everything um, this week, career-wise or relationship-wise, because. It is basically what you're good at and it is basically what you're going to be recognized for. So that was your tower reading Capricorns. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you. That will be regarding an event which is going to happen um, this week and you should either look forward to or try to avoid should you can. Now let me cut. And let's see, we do have the stork which points for a delivery or a new new era that is happening i do believe that it is about new era then we do have the 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 mountain which speaks for delays all right or a different road possible and then we do have the birds um which is uh, the uh, which is a phone call social media gossips so what we do have here is a delivery of a new path possible uh, and that delivery happens through phone or a social media. So be extra vigilant on the social media, the phone calls that people give you in general and even the gossips, you know, because that could be a rumor for that different possibility all right and it is up to you to explore it so you have to be able to be to be capable here to read among the lines so that being said capricorns this uh, was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for september 10 to september 16 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and I and I hope that you can make sense of it you know cuz again uh as it is a general reading for your star sign, this isn't your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I'm explaining you the meaning of the cards, their synergy into the spread, and uh, it is up to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation, then you go for a personal reading, and to do so, all that you need to know is my website, listed down below in the description of this video there you can find my services and their pricings as well and basically as soon as you make a purchase we're going to schedule an appropriate time for a reading so uh, that being said uh, see you next time guys and uh, rat signing out now bye